And thank you. Jacksonville's new sheriff is now on the job, and the race to choose a new mayor next spring is starting to pick up steam. Today, most of the candidates for mayor took part in a debate. As part of our commitment to make sure your voice matters, we're going straight to you to find out what issues you regard as most important. We begin our coverage of the city's leadership changes with News 4 Jacks reporter Jim Pickett. He covered the debate and heard from almost all the candidates. Jim? You know, Tom, that's right. I'm going to give you a lot of numbers here. There are nine candidates that have announced that they want to be mayor of Jacksonville. At the Rotary Club luncheon today, seven of them took part in the debate. It was basically a debate. Of that, though, there were those that didn't show up. One of them is Daniel Davis. And uh, his staff is basically saying that's because he had family matters. But one of the candidates who did show up, another Republican, Leanna Cumber, took shots at him because of that. I'm here because I think that my job as a public servant is showing up. And so let's be honest and let's talk about who's not here today, Daniel Davis. And I don't know about you, but I'm tired of career politicians saying you have to wait in line and wait for your turn. I didn't get where I am waiting my turn. And I'll tell you, there is no mom out there when she's fighting for her kids who is going to wait in line. Running for mayor is not a coronation. Showing up is critical. I work hard and I get results. I fought against doubling the gas tax that Daniel Davis funded and supported and the other taxes that have been passed in the city in the last seven years. He thinks he's already won. That's why Daniel's not here, because he thinks it's owed to him. I disagree. Last week, Daniel Davis's campaign says he had family obligations and would not be at the debate. One of those considered a top Democrat in the race, Donna Deegan, addressed what she sees as the current problems and what she could change. 61% of the people in this city in a recent poll said that we are on the wrong track and we need a new direction. I am ready to bring change for good to this city. I have been showing up for this city, doing the work my entire life. I have been a voice for the voiceless. Listen, I love our big corporations as much as everybody else, but they don't need a voice. They got a bullhorn. We need a voice for our neighborhoods. We need a voice for the people who are constantly left behind in this city. And another candidate, Omega Allen, who's run for mayor before. The no party affiliation candidate admits that she may not be well known, but she's ready to serve. I love this city and its people. I will encourage and support community policing. I'll support the school board and the superintendent. My administration will function under honesty, accountability, and transparency. I'm a general contractor by trade. I understand the concerns of the working class. I am the working class. I'm not trying to turn Jacksonville red nor blue. I'm keeping it red, white, and blue for all of us. They call me the long shot, but I'm the shot, the best shot for the citizens of Jacksonville. And, you know, we heard from the other four candidates a little bit earlier. I did reach out again to Daniel Davis's campaign to see if they wanted to respond to this. But right now, they are not. We're live at City Hall. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.